Look carefully in the ornate courtyard of London's Royal Academy, and you'll see a tiny sculpture. It's not about national identity or heroics or idealized sexuality. It's vulnerable in form, indestructible in iron. It's based on the artist's six-day-old daughter, um, placed directly on the courtyard in this very grand architectural setting. And I think the contrast of those two images really asks us to question our place and our relationship to the planet and the future. Inside the show, Gormley has further disrupted the 150-year-old gallery. A continuous eight-kilometer hollow tube of aluminum is energetic. The wild orbits reflect Gormley's interest in physics and subatomic paths. English clay and Atlantic seawater to a depth of 23 centimeters. It's a marriage of the most basic elements. Is it a destructive flood or a primordial soup spawning life? An optical maze of steel mesh holds a void at its core. The center is the average size of a modern bedroom. The outdoor works by Gormley are better known and thrive on the grand scale only found in nature. The massive Angel of the North stands 450 kilometers north of London, atop land where miners worked underground in the dark. Total darkness in the Royal Academy. Visitors walk through the cave, reflecting the artist's belief that with closed eyes, we are better able to understand ourselves. In this world of constant distractions, Gormley's works bring a stillness and a silence. It's art stripped down to bare life. The art feeds on observation. It demands personal interpretation, making people more aware, aware of the space they take up in the world and where they stand in it. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.